Hi my loves and welcome to this Halara Honest review. I'm really excited to review the pieces that I have selected for today's video. As you guys will know, when you're buying sportswear or gym wear online, sometimes it can be really hard to know the materials, the size, um, how things fit, um, if they're squat proof, all that jazz. So if you are thinking about buying Halara, well today I will give you my honest feedback of all the items. code for today's video it's kt20 and i will leave it in the description box as well along with all the links of the items that i talk you through so the pieces have been gifted for today's video however this is not a sponsored video and as you will know if you are a retaining subscriber hello i'm katie and i always give you my honest feedback in these videos as you'll see in today's video so I've got quite a bit, a few bits to get through. Everything comes in a lot of different colours. Um, so like I said, all the links will be down below and you can click on the direct link and see what colours things come in. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is this really lovely, like nice sage green crop. It's got this lovely like cross waistband just above the stomach. I think it's really, really nice, very flattering. Um, some of the shorts and trousers that I will share with you also have it, and I think it's a very flattering feature. The material on this is lovely. This one hasn't got any cups in, so perhaps you could wear a sports bra underneath it, or personally, I just don't really mind. I just think, well, we've all got it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really lovely one. I picked this up in a size medium, and the fit was really, really nice on this one. Uh, and in the video, I paired it with a pair of trousers, um, which I will get to in a bit, but let's just say they weren't my favourite from the video. Um, the prices are in dollars, so if you guys are from the UK like me, then um, when you click on the website, it will probably go into the UK version. But my order form, for some reason, is in dollars. So um, that top was $22.95, which I think is something like £17. So it's like really, really well priced, uh, really good quality, and I definitely rate that one. The next thing I'm going to talk to you about is actually what I'm wearing, which is so, like, something I've never worn before or would never think to wear. Um, it's kind of like a tennis-style dress. Now, I'm not a tennis player, but occasionally me and Reese do like to go and play a bit of tennis, tw 20s. Um, and I'm also thinking of retaking up ballet. So I used to do ballet when I was young, as you'll see, not from this video. I'm um, not really doing it very well there, or very, ju very much justice. But um, I just thought it was something really fun, really playful. They had these in lots of different colours. Um, but it just feels like really feminine, really girly, and I love the fact that it's got the shorts underneath. Um, it kind of just feels so comfy, and yeah, it like makes me want to go and play tennis. So I really, really love this. This is 54, about $55, which again, I think is about 40 something pound. Um, but like I said at the start of the video, I've got 20% off, so it's a really, really good saving. The quality on this is absolutely lovely. It has got little um, padded bits in on the bust area which I always just typically take out they normally come out in the wash and it irritates me <laughs> so for me personally I never really like having those like round circles I don't really feel like they, they really ever fit the boob properly so I always just remove them but it is it is nice to know that they're there as an option um, the fit on this is absolutely great I think I ordered this in a large I love the back detail I think it's just really simple really classy and it's actually a really nice length seeing as I'm five foot nine um, and I'm a UK size 12 and it does just come to above the knee so it's like a really really great length so you don't really feel like even though there's shorts underneath you don't feel like you're just walking around with your butt out which like I think is actually kind of important for me these days <laughs> speak to me like 10 years ago and it'll be a different story but there we are this is called the asparagus white um in the shade and like I said they have got this in a few different colors but yeah I just think it's really lovely and it's a bit different which is nice so I don't want to start off on a bad note, but as I talk to you about the top I was wearing, I feel like I may as well just talk to you about these. And for me personally, these are just a no. They are really not squat proof. They are really kind of see-through. And I just, I don't really understand. Like, I can literally see my filming through there. Like, I just, yeah, I just don't get it. I thought that even if they were a bit see-through, I thought they would be all right for like with like an oversized jumper, you know, like kind of going over the bum kind of thing. But I actually think I would give these a pass personally. They're also meant to be like tummy waist control, but I don't really feel like they're very tight. So they're not really doing that for me. I'm not sure if maybe if I did size down, they would be. Um, and these are in the Arctic Wolf color. And I got these in a large. These were $35, so about £27. So like I mentioned, those ones 
are a no from me and there's also very very similar ones to them later on which I'll talk you through in a pinky colour um, which I do prefer but we'll, we'll get there when we get there. I'm going to talk you through my favourite item next. So I've been looking for a pair of cycling shorts forever that are actually flattering on um, anyone who's larger than a UK size 8 because I have to say they're not the most naturally flattering things um, but these are absolutely perfect and I would definitely, definitely highly recommend getting these. I absolutely love them and like I mentioned earlier with that subtle V, these have that V on the waist and I think if you look at the cutaway here, they're actually really, really flattering on. They're really, really beautifully made. The material is really lovely on them. It's so soft. They've got little side pockets. And this is actually a special, like, pet off brush material. So if anyone else loves furry animals like me, I've got a little, well, I haven't got a little kitty anymore, but I'm currently living with Reese's family and they have a cat here and she's got light colored hair. These actually can, you can literally just wipe the fur away, which is like amazing. And I'm surprised that, you know, other materials don't do that as well. But this is just like a special feature these had. I think it's great, obviously with the black color, because we all know if anyone's got pets, let me know down below if you've got a pet and you feel my pain when it comes to pet hair being on things. And it just makes me feel like, if you see someone like covered in cat hair, you're just like, it's really bad, but I think in their life it could be person. <laughs> so, yeah, no more of that, which is absolutely fantastic. They are also a really great price. They are $34, which I think is a really good price for what they are. The quality is great. They are squat proof as well. And I also picked up leggings in the same uh, material and quality because I feel like everyone could just do with an upgrade of their black leggings every now and then. And I just saw these and I had to have them. Again, they've got the lovely V shape on the waist and I just think they're really, really flattering. Again, they're squat proof. They're a really nice length. They're really soft. They've got that pat off pet feature and they've got side pockets again which they're great i got these in a size large the fit was really nice on these and yeah i highly recommend i think they're going to be a really good staple for your sportswear wardrobe so i absolutely love this next piece it's lovely like a little ballet top i absolutely just love it love the back so much and when i saw it online i thought well it's really not going to be very supportive maybe it'll just be good for yoga but actually i was really surprised with how supportive this is um considering the back detail i could definitely wear this to like a hit class which i will be um i love the color this also comes in white and black i remember but i don't think any other colors um, but I definitely would go as far as saying I'm going to probably get this in a few more colours because I think it's just really, really beautiful. I love the material. I love the shade of this and I love the straps. I just love everything about this. It's a size medium and it fit lovely. Um, it has, again, got those inside pads. These ones are quite thick as well, which, I mean, definitely would be good for covering the nipple. But for me personally, like I said, I always just take them out. But um, it's nice that, you, like I said, you have the option. This one, I'm just checking the price. This one is $33. So again, it's a really nice price and um, will be paired with lots of different colours for summer, which is lovely, but you can also obviously wear it in the winter as well. So this next one is called In My Feels Racer Crop, I think. Um, and again, this one comes in different colours. I really like this like peachy tone. Uh, it's like an orangey peachy tone. I think it's really, really nice. Very flattering on most skin tones, which is fab. Um, it's got a cr crisscross back here. And this one fit really nicely again. I think um, this one has got pads in as well, which you could definitely take it out. And then it's got that slightly longer bit on the body, which I really like because for me personally, I have like a little bit of fat here, which is absolutely nothing wrong with We're all women who are have beautiful different bodies. We're not all meant to look the same. Um, but for me, sometimes I do... I mean, I'm working on it, but <laughs> I do feel a little bit conscious sometimes if like a sports bra stops here, it like pushes that little bit out or it's like in between your shorts and there. So this is that just that slightly bit longer, which I think is really, really flattering and really nice um, for anyone who else who has maybe that little bit of extra love handles there. We'll call it a little, I call it like my, um, my little cake stash <laughs> because... I can't live without cake, so you know, I'm never gonna sacrifice cake for my body to look a certain way. I love and accept it how it is. I picked this one up in a large, which I don't really remember why I picked that up in a large as opposed to a medium like all the other sports bras. Perhaps I looked at the sizing and it was a little bit different, but I'm glad I did because it fit really, really well. Um, and like I said, the color is beautiful and it was $30. So that was a little bit less. Um, I would say that was a little bit less supportive, um, but if you've got a bigger bust, but perhaps if it's just more like for yoga, for walking, those kind of things, you'll be fine. Maybe less of like the high impact with that one, but 
I personally would wear it and it'd be fine because I don't really have that big boobs. <laughs> okay, these were a firm favourite of mine. These are a navy legging. These are the everyday legging shaping high rise full length side pocket. I mean, that's a mouthful, isn't it? In Oxford blue. Got them in a large and these are $38. Um, but with my discount again you've got 20% off Katie H for 20% off um, and I would highly recommend these they're squat proof which tick 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 everything about these is just tick these remind me of the Andola leggings if anyone has ever seen them um, and they're a really great quality legging so I highly highly think these are a great like very similar pair um, and I definitely would wear these like in the day as well like as an outfit like you could definitely pair them with like a nice sweatshirt um, and some nice chunky white trainers and it would look great for just like an everyday chilled relaxed look uh, I personally love wearing like sportswear and gym wear in the day like not when I'm just going to the gym I, I just think it's so comfy and flattering and I just I just love it I paired this in the cutaway with oh this one sorry I forgot to mention this has got side pockets also um and just like a nice, really nice, like high-waisted. These felt like they held you in as well. Like you feel quite secure, quite supported in these, which is really nice. I paired those with this crop. Now you'll see in the cutaway, I'm showing you, I've taken one of the pads out of the bust area just to show you the difference with it in and with it out. Unfortunately, and this happens quite a lot with like white uh, materials, especially like gym style materials, it can be very see-through. And this, unfortunately, I'm thinking it's because it's a little bit snug though. Um, is a little bit see-through as you'll see I'm showing you in the cutaway I can kind of see the sports bra underneath through it's a shame it didn't take it all the way down so it's not like a line and then a line um, but I'm wondering if maybe I went up to the large it wouldn't be as visible so I'm definitely going to swap this out for a large and see I love the back detail on this I think it's really really beautiful what's happened <laughs> I just pulled it I love the crisscross back I think it's just like a little bit sexy but it also feels nice and supported um, and like I said because of that inner layer of elastic it does feel nice and supported which is lovely but I personally am going to size up on this one and like I mentioned I'm a UK size 12 that top is $33 um, which I think if it wasn't see-through I would totally say it's worth it but we'll see on the large uh, make sure you're following me over on Instagram because I'll give you all my updates over there at Katie Victoria Holland um, yeah to see whether I the large is better or not if you like neutral tones I've got a really nice dreamy neutral tone combo to finish with so just hold on for a second but before that the girl inside me, I'm obsessed with pink, so I had to get a pink set from them just to see what it was like. Um, so I've got the Seamless Flow Cropped Sports Top and Seamless Flow High Waisted Tummy Control 7 slash 8 Leggings. Now, these are the ones, like I mentioned, were the same as the, the Arctic Wolf white ones at the start. Unfortunately, not squat proof, kind of see-through, and... Again, maybe if I sized down, would actually be like tummy control, but I didn't really feel like they really did anything. They just sort of sat. I'm not sure if that's because they're a little bit too big. Um, maybe it would be better if they were sized down. They're a very like candy floss pink, very, very girly, girly pink. Um, I love the top actually. I did think maybe you could pop a sports bra on under it because it's got no padding and because it is slightly, it's not sheer, but it's close enough. <laughs> that like you know if you don't want your nips out then probably wear a sports bra underneath it um I do really like these cute little crop t-shirts I just think they're really really nice sometimes you know if you just don't want like your boobs out in the gym because let's be honest we all know men can't help it they have to look don't they so it is what it is but sometimes you just can't be asked for that shit and you're like not today son <laughs> so sometimes these are really cute for that I also think when you wear like a little cop t-shirt like this as well you could get away with wearing shorts a little bit more in like oh when it's really really hot um not that you couldn't anyway but for me personally like I said I'm five foot nine I'm kind of tall so it's like a lot of skin out otherwise and just you know you just if you know you know um so the trousers are 35 dollars and the Sports bra is also 35, so it'd be 70 dollars for the set, which I think is about 55, 60 pounds. Um, because it is a little bit see-through, I'd say that's probably my least favourite set of the of the whole lot. I mean, if you're going to be going to like a yoga class, it's going to be dark. Like, ain't no one going to see 
so it's fine for that or like maybe for just like chilling around the house if you like wearing gym stuff around the house that kind of thing um then you can definitely get away with it for that but for me personally if it's not squat proof like i won't be wearing it to the gym <laughs> okay and then this cute little last combo look at that look at that isn't that like a neutral dream um i love this top i have to say i really really like it it doesn't really feel too sportsy or too jimmy feels like a really great yoga top maybe if you go to like I don't know a dance class ballet class that kind of thing I think it'd be great for that definitely could wear it in the gym though like it's absolutely not off you know for not for the gym um it's a little bit less supportive so it wouldn't be good for like running or maybe hit or anything like that it has got an elasticated waistband in it but the back detail because like I said the material is very stretchy um so it doesn't feel super supported I picked this up in a large um, and I would say actually the fit on this was really nice. There was quite a bit of material and maybe could have done with a medium, but maybe it would have been a little bit too snug then. Um, you could even wear this, I think, like with a pair of jeans and a pair of like tan sandals. Would look really cute. Um, or you could pair it with these, which I really, really love. And they are, I think, almost the same as the Oxford navy blue ones that I shared with you. They're not quite the same, but they're very similar. They're a different material. They're a bit of a... Um, they're a very very soft material the, the navy blue ones were just like an absolute dream but they they are a soft material but they're not quite as nice i just have to say the quality isn't as nice um they're a little bit more like like nylon-y i don't think these are squat proof i think i i'll have i'll have put my thumbs up or down whether they were or not i can't remember now but i tried to turn many on <laughs> Um, I picked these up in a large and the fit was really nice and the one thing I would say with these is when I pop them on I did notice and this has happened with some trousers I had in the past as well they have like this almost like this color line down it I'm not sure if you can see like those little not obviously not the stitching the, the color line here um, and I, I have a pair of khaki ones not from Halara just from they're from amazon or somewhere and it was the same thing so i'm not sure if that will come out in the wash it does it didn't with my khaki but i just i just don't really understand why it's there i feel like it's like the, the color dye has like stayed in that one place a little bit so they're not perfect so i just wanted to make you guys aware of that as this is an honest review so the top also had the thumb holes i forgot to mention actually it's on the description the top was 33 dollars and the trousers are 38 dollars so my overall review of the brand is that some really really great pieces um however there are a few that are less suitable for gym however they're still really nice pieces and they're a really great price point i think for um sportswear athleisure whatever you want to call it um yeah so that is my honest review of the brand and my size details and all that shebang if anyone has any questions if there's not anything i didn't make super clear please leave me a comment down below or if you have tried the brand and you love it let me know down below um, if you order anything, let me know as well because I love hearing from you guys and what you order. Um, and like I mentioned at the start of the video, I have a discount code which is KTH for 20% off anything you'd like. Um, so yeah, I think I'm really, really glad that I did try the brand out. I absolutely love trying new brands and just like getting to give you guys my feedback because especially when you're ordering stuff online, you really want to know what it's like sometimes before you go click buy. Um, so now I've given you that honest feedback. I hope that it's really helpful and make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and you found it useful. If you're going to order, like I said, let me know. Pop me a little message over on Instagram as well. I love hearing from you guys at Katie Victoria Holland and I hope to see you in the next video. Upload videos every single Wednesday uh, so I'll see you next week. <laughs>